So let's go ahead and look on some different new feature. And one what I want to look, it is um, if we're going inside the combiner, right here you'll notice we have a hide chooser. So let's look first how does it work. So we can understand and use it in our um, future kind of project when we start working on our tiling and create more sophisticated uh, terrain. First, you notice right here, it's located inside the combiners. The reason why it's accepted different type inputs and provide different high field maps for us, as well as one combined output. So let's go ahead, connect this right here. And we want to also connect the masks so we can preview them maybe in the future. But high field for now just will work. To understand how it's um, how the chooseries work, we need to add uh, some new values. You notice right here, first we have the guided input, and this is important. This is which accept the value from zero to one. And based on this value, it will select this value and assign them to um, those um, kind of height. In some cases, we've done before by using clumping mode and height. So this is kind of combination of them. So let's do this way. We'll go inside generation there and we created radial. So you'll notice right here on radial, we have it a very simple top and bottom zero on the bottom and one. So we'll take this and connect. And next, let's create it some simple warning. Okay, we'll create it three of them. And we'll take first and we'll maybe scale slightly down on this one. Okay. We'll take a next kind of middle, scale even more. And we'll take one last one and scale way lower. Okay. Also, let's switch maybe F2, F1s. Okay. Make it a little bit less. Okay. So, right here. Preview. Okay. So next, let's go connect. You'll notice I connect height, middle, okay, and actually right here, highest. So this should be our lowest and highest. Actually, maybe I want to switch this. So in some case, right here, you can see we have it, the highest noise on the middle. On a high, so we want to rotate. I want to go switch this one, put it here and we'll put it this on the middle so overall let's go to lock our preview you notice we have the highest this were nine now on top and again by using the radiant gray you can see how we can modify this so what this actually does for us it's this high view it's take number of inputs one two three and assign them positioning on a high, base it on the values from the gradients, where the black is zero, white is one, higher or lower. We also have a transition contrast, which is make us kind of like blending between those layers. Okay, just preview again. So if we open right here, and you can see we can reduce scale on the middle, so we can create a quite bit size. Right next, right here, we can middle area we can bring a little bit closer and outside kind of can go smaller okay also um okay let me go open radius and we can just slightly reduce radius so you can preview our map right here you can see okay and we can modify this gradient. How we can use this? This is just a preview. So you always can go back and apply as example, maybe a more on the lowest value, kind of more dissolving and a little bit sharper on the top. So let's go ahead and we'll use a natural filter. We'll take version for this one. And we'll take, um, let's go to the lowest value. So I want to move them out. And you know what, actually, let's do this. Let's take the lowest value that we have it. Okay. 
and we'll just replace this with um, advanced parallel noise. Okay, what it does, okay, we can go preview, lock on this mode preview. You can see we have it right here applied. Let's go open our erosion and we'll just add, because it will be on a lowest level, I want to add quite a bit of erosion on the bottom. We'll have it soft rocks. Mount. You can see it's very, very soft. And again, this is well going on our lowest level right here outside the ring. So the middle one, we can do even something different. So let's go open. We'll pop up little bit higher and we can play around just try different types see which one you prefer okay we'll go maybe kind of like a rocky look okay for this let's click ok copy paste so i won't have the same version applied but i don't want it high dissolving so i'm just going back just slightly at those rocks Okay, we'll add also rock hardness a little bit higher. Okay, around right here. So we preview, you can see this is rocks right on the side. And next, I want to have this peak or the middle increase. So instead, this one will go in using radial. Here's our main point because I want to increase. And I'm just same add version to this. Okay, and we can have the rock hardness quite a bit. Pop here. And let's and also it's a little bit harder even. Okay, we'll go click OK and connect. So right now if you preview, you can see we have a nice effect applied. So this is our middle point which apply to highs, and you can see the mountain next, we have those rocks, and a very soft erosion just on the sides going, so they're smoothing. Of course, the height you will notice right now, it is take already what we have it and apply it, does not um, compensate for the height, so we need to do by ourselves on this case. So right here you can see on the sides, okay, let me move it a little bit closer, so if we want to control reduce height on the side, we need to go inside our scale at the moment. Okay, let's go to um, increase a little bit here size. Okay, we need to go create a new layout. Let's take a circle. Okay, we'll move this circle in the middle. Maybe it just shrinks a little bit down. Okay. Also, let's enable breakout so it does not look similar. We'll go back right here, our layout, and we can take this and apply to the mask or the lens pearl. So you can see right here, we apply it. On this case, when we go to the mountain, we just cut off this area. However, Okay, let me go check this preview. But if we check on our gradient and we can increase, decrease, you can see how it will affect now. So we're gonna have a sharper mountains going. So it's kind of have a very cool effect you can create with this. So let's add a little bit more mountains to this point. We'll go in the middle point. Let's take this Ferni and see if we want to decrease slightly. Okay, let's preview, let's render, so we can preview our look. And right here you can see with the high chooser, so we done, we created one mountain, created very soft, you can combine different type of erosion. And also you can do same things for more complex, and we're looking, we will look for this in other tutorials when we start creating um, edge of the clear for other things we can with erosions we actually can create a very interesting effect apply very natural so the one more things before we do this let's go to right here we have our rail grand for this okay so let's do open that one 
just create for our mountain. Okay, maybe disconnect that one. We'll just create another mountain right here. Okay, uh, let's add a little bit bigger. Pop up elevation, so it just create a more interesting look, look I think. Okay, and also let's go in our filters. And the filters will go just use maybe terrace. Okay, let's go terrace, put it between erosion and this. So we have it just slightly terracing applying to um okay, right here, okay. Preview render. So we're just slightly terracing applied right here. Again, it's kind of hard to see. Uh, maybe reduce a little bit erosion on this level so we can see terracing a little bit better. All right here you can see it. So overall with a high chooser we can take different shapes and you can import what more interesting you can take your uh, map for your game and you can control with the game not necessarily with the height just with labyrinth you can control it um, how it's look and what type of terrain where and you know what let's go ahead and our next tutorial we'll probably do this we'll just take a map import with different um, shades of gray and we'll just go ahead and see what we can do with that